Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Sim Golf. Uh, so this will be the final video of the Let's Play. And this is just going to be another bonus video, kind of tie up some loose ends, show off some different things that we haven't seen yet. And uh, basically to do that, I'm going to show off a couple of courses made by a guy that was way more into the game than I was. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it actually takes a lot of effort to make courses that look nice, so I figured instead of toiling away over some nice, interesting courses, it might be nice to get a different perspective. So these aren't quite on the Xanadu level that we saw in the last video, but these couple of courses are quality kind of courses that play it straight. And unfortunately, I only get the course file, which means that you can only play it as a tournament, so can't really get into it and do too much editing or anything like that and not be playing golf, most importantly, but that's okay. We'll definitely get a gist of what's going on. And the main thing I want to do here is show off the different uh, kind of tile sets that we didn't get a chance to look at throughout the LP because we only played on the one. So this is the desert tile set. It's really nice, actually. I used to hate this tile set, but it's just so different. You have to appreciate it. Especially, also, it kind of stinks because instead of having just standard rough as your default terrain that covers all the area, you, you get this desert. That's just so much worse to hit out of. Uh, I need to take a stroke real fast, actually. Also, while we're uh, just going through this, we can kind of get an idea of some kind of different uh, things that can make shots not appear too easy. We kind of came up with our own ideas for making shots not too easy on our own course, but <clears throat> this guy kind of has some different ideas. Definitely more creative than me. If this were me, I would have just put some water in front of the fairway and called it a day, but he kind of puts some water layers in a couple trees and a few and a couple sand traps for good measure along with a pot bunker actually looks really nice definitely a lot of effort put into this course let's go ahead and actually look at the routing map jeez that is intense don't you think even's managed to fit in all of the amenities on the course which is pretty impressive I'm not going to play the whole course i just want to show everything off so this casino building right here is his version of the water park on the desert course. Uh, most things are kind of the same. Everything serves the same function in the item slot, so... Uh, his hotel... is... Hey. Where did he put his hotel at? Oh, it's down here. Pretty interesting. I think the buildings on this tile set are pretty legit. His putting green definitely has the coolest little uh, guy. Something you'll notice, like, the driving ranges all don't have too much going on, but the putting greens all have some kind of little thing right here. <laughs> like on our tropical tile set, we had a volcano. I'm pretty sure that the landmarks are all the same. Nope, I'm wrong. In fact, he even gets bonus landmarks. Maybe some of these landmarks, now that I'm thinking about it, only unlock after you make a certain amount of holes. But yeah, I think actually the Civil War statues are different for every different kind of course. I want to say that one of them is a... is a guy on a horse, right? I don't know. <clears throat> Another really well-crafted hole right here. Uses trees very tastefully on this course, I feel like. And puts the choke point right here in just a perfect position. But on the other hand, I don't know. This is obviously better than any kind of hole I ever made. <laughs> Really great use of sand traps on this course, I feel like. 
But yeah, it did look like there were some bonus monuments. The Easter Island heads are... These kind of came default on our course, but they are an upgrade at some point. Oh, here's the guy on the horse, I think. Yeah, all right. I was mistaken. I believe they are all the same. Got a nice pagoda, though. Never got the pagoda. That kind of makes me sad. I really like the pagoda. It's just kind of the next level. You got. You might have noticed that there's four different kind of landmarks, and they have... Right? Um, wait, am I wrong? <laughs> I don't know. Seems like there's two extra ones somewhere. This historic lighthouse is pretty legit. So big. Look at the shadow it even puts out. Nice little par 3 here. Interesting how he makes a par 3. Let's go ahead and actually look at the SGA evaluation for this course. One thing he mentioned in the when he posted these things is that they all have really high SGA evaluations. And yeah, it's 98 out of 100, so I mean, he was really going for the ideal here. Variety, scenic, length, accuracy, and imagination. So basically, he has all three stats on every hole, except one without length. That's pretty impressive, I gotta say. We did not even come close to that. It is nice to see what a real course looks like, though. <laughs> I mean, this is the guy that made the fan side dedicated to the game, so come on, he's probably put some effort into it. Just a really nicely laid out course here. A joy to play on. I just wish I could play a safe game on it, but... <laughs> Not really. What's the point? All I would do is screw it up. Not too many different hazards on the desert tile set. Instead of stream, though, you just get a ravine. A waterless stream. <laughs> Where balls roll in and stay a while. But yeah, pretty much, or else it's the same. Get some cacti instead of tropical trees. And like I said, desert instead of rough. You still get rough, but it's not like the default. I believe in uh, the tropical tile set, you get deep rough here, and then rough would go here. But yeah, I guess just a little bit more on the buildings. Uh, what is this one right here? It's like his pro shop or something. I don't know. It's really interesting how he manages to, uh... He doesn't use... Water. He uses sand traps. And... He still doesn't have people thinking... Wow, I hit that cacti. He doesn't have people thinking his shots are too easy. I feel like that's because he goes with the one square of fairway a lot more often than we ever did. <laughs> also, nice little catty corner sand traps all around. Really great looking course. You have got to appreciate the effort. Also, nice use of rough. Tasteful use of water. We definitely used water as a crutch. It came down to it. Jeez, Gary Goff, get your head in the game. But that's alright. Let's just go ahead and pretty much done with this course. Just want to show off the tile sets mainly. Really nice. Alright. Let's uh, exit. And I believe this is the next course that he made. This course, 
does not have the landmarks on it, unfortunately, so we're going to have to just completely massacre the course. It's alright, though. It's not canon. Don't worry. So this tile set that we're loading up here, I think, is the nicest looking tile set. At least zoomed in. <laughs> just something about this uh, roughage right here. I don't know. I don't know why, but I just tend to like it. Let right, me take a shot. I think he uses water a bit more on this course. No. There's a nice string down the middle. But hey, I mean, come on. If water belongs on any course, it's the tropical paradise. <clears throat> but yeah, this is your deep rough on this course. For some reason, it's just uh, a little yellowish. There's just something about the color of the fairway, the green... The different kinds of trees. This course definitely has the best tree types. The trees just all look like scenic trees, don't they? That's the thing I do not like about the tropical tile set is all the palm trees. Just not my cup of tea. The water looks nice. I just tend to like every everything about the colors in this tile set the best. It just seems more grown up, don't you think? It's supposed to be like something out of Ireland. That's what it's supposed to look like. But let's just go ahead and crush this. I think I need to actually do the money trick real fast. Look how happy Gary Goff is, he's getting all this cash money for free. Alright, that should about do it. See, but he thinks that shot's too easy, though. See, we're trying to avoid that on our courses. I think these shots are too easy. What does the SGA evaluation have to say about this course? 75. So this course isn't nearly as uh, good as his other one. It's just a, just a course. Pretty legit, though, still. But let's take a look at some of the buildings on the Scottish course here. Irish course, sorry. So their special building is a castle, and that's the default one. And one of the courses even comes with a free castle, if you can believe it. That's a $500,000 value right off the bat, and it gives you higher greens fees. So just imagine, if you want to play on easy mode, you just pick the course that gives you the free castle. I know it's so there's your regular castle kind of run down. A little uh antiquated. Just drop the new one. Boom. Brand new castle. Let's go. Got the flags flying. No moat, disappointingly enough. You could probably add one if you wanted to. Probably messed up someone's shot with that. But yeah, pretty uh interesting castle. Looks like they got a hedge maze back here. Okay, why not? Where am I shooting? Where do they want me to shoot the ball? Oh, this is a pretty long hole. <clears throat> but yeah, lots of stone in uh, these courses. They, uh, they have a church instead of a marina. I forget what they had. Forgot to look and see what it was for the other course. A little bit more convenient because you don't have to put it on the water. Definitely nice looking. It's a little car garage action. Landmarks are all the same here. And a stable. I want to say this was what the pro shop would be. You get a stable instead. Put over that. Uh -huh. I don't know. Kind of interesting. 
it appears that the cutting green and such was already placed. I think we missed it. Oh well. So yeah, those are kind of the other two tile sets that we've never seen. Uh, we we did look at the other one on Xanadu, so I'm not really going to show it off. And also, I don't have a course for it, so... Even though Xanadu was not a very standard course, it uh, was on the default tile set, so... Yeah, it's just interesting to see what you can really do with this game. I mean, I'm just a regular guy playing the game, but this is a guy that really took some care and put some real effort into his courses. Just really nice. Breaks them up nicely with this. No really gimmick holes either, just solid golf. He even goes through the effort of making his hot bunkers like look like this. And if you actually look at courses from uh, Ireland and such, they have these really ridiculously deep sand traps. They're like four feet deep, and they're night, and they're like really like foxholes or something. Man, it's ridiculous when you see them. Like if you land in one, you're just screwed. It's really interesting. It really sets their courses apart from other types of golf courses. Let's see if it even says anything about it. Yeah, Pot Bunker, a signature hazard of Lynx courses. Yep. Yeah. Go look it up. Look up for a picture of like an Irish uh look up like St. Andrews sand traps or bunkers, like St. Andrews bunkers, and you'll see these really ridiculous looking bunkers. It is very unique. It's not what you would think of when you saw a regular sand trap on a golf course. But yeah. Uh that's about that. Not too much else to do. Uh, I did have this is probably going to be a little bit boring but I just thought for uh, completionist sake I would go ahead and show off some of what is in the uh, kind of the folder on your computer for this game this is something you don't get very much with games anymore because like games are just kind of all in, especially like Steam games you know they're just like you don't really get access to all the files, but here, I mean, you just get everything, like... Jeez, uh, what am I even looking for here? I don't know. I forget what it was that I was going to click on. Whoops. But, I mean, uh, yeah, here we go. Like, you have access to all the different kinds of, like, water files and just different textures for every single course. Like, kind of interesting just to see how, like, uh, the sand bunkers and everything kind of fit together how they do. Man, I really wanted this to go back. Is it going to freeze on me? I hope not. I had one more thing I wanted to show, please. Please game. Please game. I'm not even kidding. Oh goodness. Oh well. Okay. But yeah, uh, I did mention in the LP that there was some drawbacks to this Irish course actually and the biggest one was the music so let's just get in here and play some Lynx music yeah you know how we would have the steel drum sound effect playing when uh whenever we would get a story to start on our course whenever a story starts on the Lynx course, you just get this bagpipes. Yeah, oops, sorry. Let me just turn that up for you. Oh yeah, the bagpipes. Every time a story starts. Mmm, delicious. Alright. Uh, but yeah. Let's see, can we get some desert music? Get a little Spanish guitar on the desert course. Not bad.
You know, the other funny thing is that they have some music in here that is not from... That they just decided not to use, like, uh... The Newhart thing. What is this, the Bob Newhart thing? I don't know. Kinda interesting though. Sounds like something from that era, I guess. This is actually a... This is from the game, but I can't remember where. But then we got this Romeo and Juliet. What is this? I don't know. Where is this from in the game? I have no idea. And then, shotgun, what? Just out of nowhere, random gun. Alright. But yeah, I don't know. I guess that's about it. Didn't have too much else I wanted to show off. I really wanted to do something else really fast, but I guess the game froze on me, which has actually never happened ever. But I guess it's okay. I'll just post another video of it really fast after we're done. So, uh, yeah, that'll about do it for this update. I hope y'all enjoyed it and got something out of it or found it a little bit interesting. Just trying to tie up some loose ends. So that'll about do it, and I'll see you next time for something completely different, probably. Peace.